All right, welcome back, guys. So as you can see, I've been pretty busy. I, um, I bought another 900 batteries. I got these, uh, and then I bought another um, almost 600 like laptop, used laptop batteries. And it wasn't a very good deal, as you can see. These are some of the better ones that came out of it. Now, these are super old batteries. Like here's a, sorry. but some of these, you know, 23, 11, yeah. So, and a lot of these, like a lot of these pink ones, these are 2,600, you know, they're right around 2,000, two amp hours. There's a couple of good ones here and there, but I've had to throw a lot away. I'd say probably about half of them were just not that good. So all of these would be what I would say is not usable. Uh, 1300 milliamp hours on a 26, that's half, half the battery life. So I would definitely not use that. And then all these, see all these other, okay, so these are good ones. I just need somewhere to store them for the time being, but as you can see that's a 2800 amp, milliamp hour cell and it tested at 1850 so like that is wore out then these are like the salvage heater sanyos 1600 thousand these are horrible some of them won't even charge up to 4.2 without just smoking so Lucky to even get those to test. Um, still needing to redo these. These are those lipo cells. These would be really good cells if they were brand new. Like if they were, you know, good to go, ready to be used. But they're not. A lot of them tested really low in the 1800 milliamp hours. Just got in a shipment yesterday from uh, Battery Hookup. I bought some of these here. So there's two cells in there, 2,200 milliamp hours each. This, these are I got half with the wires, half without the wires. I haven't probed around these yet, but yeah, two cells in parallel. That's why you get the 44. But there's there's a uh, 40 with and 40 without so you know i figured these are these little thin the packaging on these are cool so uh, definitely use these for solar lights and just whatever little projects going on i believe they have a bms on them too so that's you know hey can't beat that hey, you buy little bms's and they're already a dollar a piece so i did get a couple of these cells with my with the, the laptop batteries and these tested out good 1800 let's see mall cell they all tested eight, 18 19 and 19 1890 that's pretty cool uh still got i think i still got enough batteries to do two more 24 volt batteries one one kilowatt hour I guess they haven't all been bad, but there've been a lot that I've thrown away on these. 19. So. That's a good one. How'd that sneak in there? Those could be in there with my modem batteries. But yeah, so that's what we're looking at here. Got all these good purple cells. They all tested really good. These are the Replacements for the purple cells. They they tested good They're mixed all in there And then these are all look at that 3240 3280 3231. Yeah, those cells came out beautiful. I Think um, I bought 900 of them. I've got another 200 
coming this week. I think they'll be here today. Another 200 individual cells. That doesn't go there. That needs to be charged. Anyways, here's a couple more over here. So these are all done. These have all been tested, charged back up. And uh, it's almost time to start building the battery. You know, I had a buddy of mine does air conditioning. I had him over this weekend. And uh, he was able to give me some more specs on, you know, what it takes to power an air conditioner unit for a home. And so I was looking at it, and he was telling me that we did the math, and it was like 3,000 watts to run the, the outside unit. So he had the idea. like, man, if you could just power that off the solar power, man, you'd be saving a ton of money. It'd probably cut your light bill in half, at least in half. So... I think that's what I'm, well, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get me a little sub panel, maybe. I don't know. I gotta kind of think about it. Like I said it was just this past weekend, but um, change it up a little bit. Get a little box, wire it in. Maybe I can get it just to run on on inverter, and that would save me a lot of money. And that'd be cool. That would make this work for me instead of trying to do the whole house right now. Do just the air conditioner. So we got 900, it'll be 1100 cells and another 600, so about another 1700 cells. I think that brings it up to about uh, just over 5,000 cells. And the majority of them are these 2600s. These, there's a, there's probably almost a thousand, I think, of these. I think, I, for, I don't recall. A thousand, yeah, there's probably about a thousand of these, maybe. 2,000 of these and then those those 2,200 amp hour cells there's probably another 12 1,500 of those so yeah I'm kind of debating on if I want to actually put these in my power wall you know I just having all these brand new like these are brand new old stock cells they all tested out perfectly like never used and then to mix those with used like you know you, even though it tests at 2400 that's still that's a, that's a lot of it oh, what, 10 percent probably i'm not doing i'm not doing the math but still 400 milliamp hours and you know that 28 2800 milliamp hours it was probably at 29 on the tester and so you know 500 yeah that's what 15 percent so that's a big that's a big difference that's a used battery. That's a good used battery. It'd good, be good for low draw applications, but... All right, so battery hookup has those water tight battery, little, they're just oddball battery packs. There's like 40 cells. I think they're 24 volt. It's like seven rows of eight. I think it was, was it like 48? And uh, yeah, one of the rows, you could tell they had gone in there and marked it as being the bad row it was a bad row of cells and uh so i only got 40 cells out of them and they're all 1300 milliamp hour cells so not, i don't really know what to do with it it was kind of a waste of money all right so here's my little setup i got going on three kilowatts worth of power for batteries and 285 so I have the limit set on that that buck converter down there had the limit set to 29 volts or 29.1 volts it's just a regular little uh, blue one of those blue square potentiometers so it might be a little sloppy but I got set at 29 volts and as you can see it is at 2.9 amps now for sure the panels that I have on it Due to it being such a beautiful day, I'm only using 400 watts worth of panels, but they're, they'll usually do about 10 amps together, 10 amps at, um, at 24 volts. All right, so up on the screen here, we have the Progressive Dynamic PD52V. Now this is what I was going to use as a automatic transfer switch to run just the air conditioner off of the solar panels and my batteries. 
So I found this on Amazon for 150 bucks, and if you see down there in the bottom, it's uh, used for 110. So I went ahead and hey, you know, I watched the videos. This is the one that seems like it's going to do 240 volts, 50 amps is well plenty enough. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger, got it, 110 bucks. Well, I immediately was thinking, oh, wait a minute, let me check on eBay just to kind of compare prices, see if there's something out there. So I did. And now, as you can see, I found one for $40, $40, $20 shipping. So I read the little BIOS. The guy was like, hey, uh, uh, I thought this was the issue in my RV. So I bought another one, swapped it out, and uh, come to find out that wasn't the issue. So instead of getting back up under there and swapping it out, I'm going to pass this on to somebody else that needs it at a discounted price. So, bang, got it. It's mine. So... We're going to use this, like I said, to use the air conditioner, run it off of solar power, and, you know, try and cut my bill in half. So, look forward to that in future videos for sure. So, I just unhooked it, clipped it onto the extra battery, and let these batteries charge, and uh, I think I got another round of them. But we're almost done until those uh, next round of ring batteries get here. 